Watch his spotlight. There's spotlight. Official spotlight. Ooh, there's an official spotlight. Is it freak? Elios consumes a poison to channel the voice of his sister, Alun. Alright, now I know this bullshit. Freak does not... Hey, no offense, Freak. He's a fucking boomer. There is no way he understood this champion. He's reading off a script. She guides him from her sanctuary, sending him a powerful array of moonstone weapons to destroy the enemies of their faith. A high strategy marksman with access to a massive arsenal, Aphelios takes the game you know and shoots it over the moon. A prayer for their souls, torn from the night. Patience is key to master the weapon. Dude, my head's already fucking hurting. This is, this is the second time I've I've tried to understand this. Weapon of the Faithful. Welcome to the Aphelios Champ. As soon as it starts, my fucking head hurts, man. Every time. Be in spotlight. Maybe I'm the fucking boomer. Aphelios has access to five different weapons, each with a different passive and active ability. There's Calibrum, the sniper rifle. Severum, the scythe pistol. Gravitum, the gravity cannon. Infernum, the flamethrower. And Crescendum, the Chakram. Thank you. Two weapons are equipped at any given time. A main hand, an offhand. Okay. Each weapon has limited ammo consumed via basic attacks and active abilities. When one runs out of ammo, the next gun in his arsenal replaces it, sending okay. the exhausted weapon to the back of the line. Okay. Aphelios has a uniquely... As of right now, I'm with it. He has weapons. They The, the offhand weapon switches to the main hand. Then it goes back to the line. Offhand, main hand, back of line. Offhand, main. Okay, I'm with it. Ammo, it only swaps when it runs out of ammo. Okay. I'm at 105, I understand. He designed HUD, which displays his currently equipped weapons, how much ammo they have, and their corresponding active abilities. Use W to switch between your main hand and offhand weapons. The HUD also shows you a glimpse of the next weapon a loon will send once a okay. weapon runs out of ammo. Consider your current arsenal and ammo before you begin a fight, so you can. So let's say I got twenty bullets in the the on the off hand, uh, the, my left hand. I got thirty bullets in my right hand. I use fifteen. I press W. I swap. Douche, 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 douche. Then I can swap back, but I can't swap to a brand new gun until I use all the ammo out of one of the guns. Then it auto swaps. And use the best combos for any situation. Let's take a closer look at each Moonstone weapon. Calibrum the Sniper Rifle is best for long-range poke and harass. Who would have thought? Its active ability is thought? a skill shot that marks its target. Once marked, the enemy is revealed, and Aphelios can follow up with its offhand that marks its target. Once marked, thought. Its active ability is a skill shot that marks its target. Once marked, the enemy is revealed, and Aphelios can follow up with its offhand weapon from okay, so any distance. If there are multiple marked enemies in an area, Aphelios can target one to deal bonus. So, each gun, the Q, so when you switch to a gun, it's Q, your Q is like a new Q for every gun. So, to, act that, to activate that gun's ability, you press Q. And then, you press W, to use your passive gun, your offhand gun, and proc it. Bonus damage, consuming all nearby marks. Whether in the main hand or offhand, any damage dealing ability will apply the mark as well. Severum the Scythe Pistol restores health with each attack. This effect can overheal, granting Aphelios a small shield. Severum's active ability boosts movement speed and rapidly fires okay. both his main and offhand weapons at any nearby enemies. That's easy. Remember, this also applies the passive from his offhand weapon. Oh, hi, Mark. Gravitum, the gravity uh, cannon, applies a decaying arc. slow on each hit. Gravitum's active ability damages and roots all enemies affected by the slow. This ability doesn't use his offhand weapon. Infernum, the flamethrower, blasts enemies with a damaging area of effect. Each shot deals bonus damage and explodes in a cone. If your attack crits, the area of the flame widens. Infernum's active ability spouts a wave of flame, which triggers the offhand gun to basic attack all affected foes. Okay. Crescendum the Chakram is a close-range weapon that behaves like a boomerang. You can't attack again until the Chakram swings back around, so the closer you stand, the quicker you attack. Okay. Critical strikes make the Chakram return even faster, so the correct build and positioning can provide absurd DPS. 
While Crescendum is in your offhand, landing any ability other than with Gravitum will store many chakras. They deal bonus damage when auto-attacking with Crescendum. Crescendum's active ability creates a turret trap that activates to shoot the uh, nearest target with your offhand weapon, applying its passive effect. This turret will also benefit from any attack speed and crit that Aphelios has built. Looks like Leona's feeling the gravity of this situation. Aphelios' ultimate, Moonlight Vigil, fires a missile that explodes on contact. He then applies an enhanced passive from his main hand weapon. Muse about the power of a supermassive black hole from the gravity cannon. Or a surprise flamethrower with tons of damage. Think wisely about how your weapon can change the flow of the fight. You've always got two options. Maybe more if you can Aphelios on main hand. I get it. Alright. I am confident enough to play it now. If it's not banned, I'll play it. We'll give her a twirl, lads. I mean, how hard could it be, right? Freak was able to explain it. I'll be able to understand it. Do a quick practice tool. Uh, ah, I'll pass. I'll play it on my fucking main in rank. What's the worst? I mean, what's the worst that can happen, right? Make sure to hover him. That's risky, though, because people see T1 on their team hovering Aphelios. They're probably going to ban it on purpose then. Oh, well. Hey, they... If my own team bans it, we're going to have some fun. I got a mean, mean Tank Cat Arena. That's all I got to say. How's that old Tyler? I don't int. Tank Ari? Eh. Tank Ari's in the past, dude. Cat Arena takes much more skill. And, you know, what do you think of T1? First thing that comes to your mind. Skillful. Ah, uh, good one. Look. Look, guys. You just said short in the chat. <laughs> Midget. <laughs> Bald. Cringe kids.